Rabbi, growing up in church, I was told that sinners will go to hell and they're going to burn forever. And I was told that hell is actually underneath the earth. How accurate is this? And does the Torah or the Tanakh mention anything about hell? Very good question. And yes, the Tanakh does talk about hell. Um, let's start from the New Testament so we can bring clarity to some of the passages there. The text of the New Testament indicates that on the day of judgment, sinners will be cast, unburied, into the most unholy, repulsive, God-forsaken place that anyone could imagine, anyone in Israel could imagine. And it calls this place the Valley of Kehana. This valley is known, or this place, where sinners will be cast into this unholy, repulsive, God-forsaken place that sinners will be cast into, that anyone in Israel will not imagine to be put there, is the valley known as Kihana. In the book of Matthew 5, we are told that it is better to gorge out your eye that sins or amputate your hand and enter the kingdom maimed than to be tossed into Gehenna with eye and hand intact. So obviously, Gehenna is a serious place. Gehenna is obviously serious. But the question is, what is it? What is Gehenna? The word Gehenna is often mistranslated in English Bibles as hell. But Gehenna is not hell in the modern sense of a place where sinners are tormented forever. Not at all. The first time Gehenna is mentioned is in the Tanakh, in the Old Testament, in the book of Joshua 15, verses 8. And this is what it says about Gehenna. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom to the other side of the Jebusite. The same is Jerusalem. Put that in your spirit. It mentions the son of Hinnom to the south side, and it tells us that the same is Jerusalem. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lies before the valley of Hinnom, westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants, northward. This is the first time that the Bible actually mentions Gehenna, what is translated in some English Bibles as hell or mistranslated as hell. This is the first place that it mentions. And we see that Gehenna simply is a valley outside of Jerusalem. I repeat that. Gehenna is simply a valley outside of Jerusalem. Eventually, this valley gained notoriety as a place where children were sacrificed, burnt to a pagan god named Molech. We see that in 2 Kings 23. And he defiled the Tophet that was in the valley of Ben-Hinnom, so that no man will pass his son or his daughter in the fire to the Molech. From this time on, Gehenna came to be thought of as a place of unfathomable cruelty and wicked practices connected with the pagan deity who is the divine enemy of the God of Israel. So for a Hebrew to be killed and tossed in here did not only mean being disposed of without proper burial rites, which was key, which was a horrible fate for most Asians, but also to be dumped in a literally unholy, blasphemous place outside the realm of Elohim. This is what it means when the Bible talks about Gehenna. It is a place outside of Jerusalem. It is a place that you can visit right now, but most English Bibles mistranslate it as hell. But this is what Gehenna is, according to the text of the
the Tanakh.